Okay, we have a little story called The Sika King and it is for uh, everyone. We can take it as read that you may call the king a king or a queen, but we want to give some love to the boys today because we talk about mother, 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 and we want to make sure that the men understand how very valued, how very loved, how very desired, and how very necessary they are. And so we will tell the stories with the girls and we will tell the stories with the boys and sometimes we tell the stories about the boys all by themselves. And this is about the Sika King. We want to show you something fast. Okay, so we want to assure you it is a quick channel. Because look it, we made some foods, steak and eggs. This is a very favorite thing and it's made with lots of love so we have lots to do only have an hour so here we go we tell you this story because the, we are setting the energy over at the bookstore even now and we have been channeling oh, 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 keeping her very busy and her mind it reels and sometimes just coming through and being quiet helps and we want to do this before we eat the food because the food is dead here we go. Before we eat the food, we fly high. So, the Sika King. Well, this this uh, monarch, he was very well loved by all of his subjects. They did as he said because they knew that he had their best interests at heart. And so, one day he said when he was younger, he said, look at here, everybody. I found this wonderful book and it brought me so much peace. And I know that the truth in this book is universal. And so I want everyone to have a copy and I want everyone to stop talking about, start, not stop, start talking about it and thinking about it and feeling about it and then living it, okay? Okay, so that happened. And his uh, subjects, oh, they did pretty good. They had a pretty good time. They, they okay. But the thing is that uh, one day, the little boy who would dress him worked up some nerve and said, Take King, can I ask you a question? The King looked down and said, Oh, little boy, of course you can. What is your question of the great king? The boy said, well, I'll tell you what. I read that book and I thought the thoughts and I felt the feelings and I even changed my beliefs a little bit and it was pretty good. I learned a lot. But, dear king, I have not found peace. I think perhaps that book might be written for you and not for me. So I wanted to ask in this little chamber, can you recommend a different book? Oh, oh, he was so frightened. He was just shaking like a leaf. The king, oh, he felt something he hadn't ever felt before. For a moment, just for a moment, this little boy in his eyes he saw a question so deep and a truth so profound that he decided the little boy might be right but the king said well I'll tell you what little boy I don't know I have any other books like that is the only one. I saw some in my youth and I didn't like them very much and then I saw this one and I hit on it and I love it. But I can see that I might have been wrong. I am grateful that you brought this to my attention in private. Thank you. That is so respectful of you. You are old for being so little. The little boy said, I don't know anything about that. Can I put on your shoes? And so it goes. The seeker king, he went on a quest, you see. That's what kings do. They go on quests. 
and so he went throughout the land. And we apologize, but every time we turn, we turn off the dishwasher and all the clothes, I, uh, the uh, dishes, they are dirty. And so you must just listen over the banging and such, okay? And so the king had to go on a quest because that is what kings do. The king brought the little boy, of course. The little boy had a discernment that the king lacked. The king had worked very hard on his triune, on his on his instrument of, of peace, of inner peace. The eye, the mind, the heart. They were all working pretty good, but something about the boy. Oh, he was very balanced. Mm. The boy knew things, so away they went. Now, the journey was long and it was arduous and there were losses and all kinds of things. And the stories are very profound and yet, and yet, at the end, what do you think happened? Well, the king encountered many people who wanted money from him and wanted time from him and wanted his greatness and so he had to make some decisions about who he was going to have an audience with. Because at that time throughout the land there were many people who wanted to give the king uh, information and peace and all kinds of nice things. But the king had had many years of being treated well, respectfully dignity and uh, honor. These things, they were the king's language. This is why he got as far as he did, you see. Yes. So the little boy could go farther because he's a little boy. And we explain all about that later. So anyway, the king would come in to a meeting and sit down and he would listen to the sage and the sage uh, would sometimes say things that made the king a rancor. Hmm. He never said he was a king, you see, he was undercover. And so the teacher would start talking and slowly the king began to feel disrespected. In the presence of tremendous information and power but disrespected. Hmm. Well, the boy, there are certain people he would not listen to, it's as simple as that. Oh, that man is a fool. The king would sit and listen and then they would compare notes. And every single time the little boy would say, well, he didn't show much respect, did he? And the king, he was ready to repeat all of the great truth and how his heart was a little uncomfortable but oh how he felt better and the boy would say eh, I don't want to hear about him because he doesn't he didn't respect me he was not respectful was he respectful with you you are the king anyway and the king would puzzle it out and say well that's funny the information was good but uh, I kind of felt disrespected on it went. The king searched and searched and sought and sought and in the end the king had a moment back in the castle because it was time to go home. He was overlooking his uh, courtyard which he loved very very much and it had a little lake in swans and a greenery of course and lots of pretties. And he looked at that as the sunset and he thought about his journeys. He thought about the little boy a lot more than the little boy knew. We should tell you that the little boy had become quite the advisor because the little boy was never wrong. <laughs> it was weird. So, the king, he sat there. And he reviewed his notes, I tell you. He did a lot of study and then he did a lot of reflection and then he was sitting at the window and 
he saw the birdies and the sunset and then he had a thought. And he realized the book which had started the journey rang with what some of them were lacking. They rang with a language that he could not even speak that said, I respect you so much. Don't believe a word of this. Test it out. Hmm. And so he compared all these knots and he thought it hard. Sitting there, the sun set. Now, I have the knots. I have the collating books. I can pick whichever one I wish and I can read it and love it and tell everyone this is the way. This is how you do it. This is the way to peace and hope and harmony and all that good stuff. As the sun set and as his heart and his mind grew still he wondered why do I seek? What is it that I'm truly seeking? Why did I go so far from home? I've lost much time. Why? Why? Book. Beloved book. It doesn't have the why. He looked at the sun and said, He looked at the sun. He sighed and he closed his eyes and he said, What is it that I am missing? something within him rang. You who are waiting for this moment, dear, your travels were long and so hard and we saw how you suffered and we wished that we could help but you never asked, you see. This is why you finally is out there and does it apply to me why the search in my heart why and so we could come to you and say dear one this longing for harm it is within every human heart this longing longing And the why? Well, consider it. We ask you, look, look. The great ones who gave you knowledge, they imparted it and you grew. But some, they some, they did it at a kind of a price, did they not? The price of your dignity, of you having to assume the position of a student, of one who did not have knowledge, means, and advisors. And it twisted your tummy. But then there were others that simply wanted to tell you how beautiful you are. This is a long, long, journey to learn of this, he thought. And his heart got bigger. He understood. He had been searching for himself. He had been searching for the part of him that was old and saying, oh, the truth 
this love, this safety, this understanding. It had to match. <laughs> it had to match. And some stuff didn't match. What could that mean? It was then the boy who brought in some tea and said, Oh my, you look like you're deep in thought, just like when we were on the road. Tell me your thoughts. Please, great king, would you be so kind as to share your thoughts with me? And the king smiled and said, Oh dear one, I think I understood something very big, but perhaps you can tell me if I am on the right track with this one. You always seem to know the way. And the boy said, Okay, well, hit me, papa. Tell me what you think. And the king said this, I think the reason that some of these great, great souls felt so good is because we matched. Something in us rang and I understood that they were never going to harm me and they only wanted me to understand something. And these are the ones that uh, I really learned from. And the others, well, I learned to not go back. What is this about the matching? What does this mean? And the little boy, well, he was getting tired. It was bedtime and he didn't have much time to explain. It's like, oh my, you don't understand this. Oh, you poor man. So let me tell you. So <laughs> he walked up to the king and put his little hand on his big thigh and said, the king, here's why. I know my mama loves me and I know my papa loves me do you know why no the king said no I don't he had been raised in the palace and the rules of uh, the parenting were very strict no I don't know why how, how the boy said well they let me be <laughs> they let me be me they let me make my own decisions and they allow me to think for myself. They honor me with great respect by allowing me to have my own reality. That is why I would not come into some other rooms because they were not going to let me have my own reality. And I don't like that it doesn't feel good. Well, the king, was he ever the same? Hmm? Did the king go out seeking again? Hmm? Did the king go the next day onto the ledge and say, listen everybody, I found a better book? Hmm? You know the answer, do you not? Yes, the next day the king said, Oh, everybody listen to me, come over here. And they all gathered underneath the thingy do. And they, he said, Okay, listen, I have to make a, an adjustment. So, here's the thing. That book I, all, I told you all to read and know and love and then do. Yes, well, um, I think I may have made a little bit of an error in judgment. And I don't think it's anyone's fault and I don't think it's bad that I asked you to read it because it's good information. However, however, I went about it wrong. Then he called the little boy. He said, you give me a minute, people. I have something to show you. And he said, little boy, come here. And he lifted the boy up like this. And he showed the people and he said, this is my advisor. This is the great soul who came with me on my journeys. And it's this little boy who helped me know which teachers were very, very helpful for me when I was not really sure 
couldn't really tell is this good, is this bad, would this help, would this harm, what a little boy seemed to know. And so he taught me a great truth and I want to pass it on. So here it is. The search is over, the king has returned and he will be taking his seat on the throne and be very happy for all time if you just do one thing for him. Okay, here we go. The book I gave everybody, many of you have it, it's all uh, underlined and things like that. And uh, I know that you made structures and, and now you chant the things and it's very nice, but um, well, this little boy taught me that it is time to put the books away. There was a gasp. Oh, what are we going to do? There is no truth in this land. It's all the truth is in this book and I don't know what to do now. And here's the king saying, oh, there's no truth. He said, no, listen, there's plenty of truth all in the land. This little boy, he showed me the way. He told me, listen, when you are respected, when your tummy doesn't get into nuts, and when you feel as if the words and the deeds of the person talking to you feel like a parent who loves you and respects you and honors you well that's best and so I want you to read whatever books you want the king said as he put down the little boy and patted him on the head thank you dear thank you dear you may read that book you may read any book you may use the structures to celebrate and learn to understand anything you want from now on. There is only one new law in this land and that is if it feels good to you inside then this is what you do and if it does not feel good inside then you don't do it. And so this day of all days, I tell you this. Yes, I may uh, cut the checks, sure. And I may uh, hire the help and make the kingdom pretty and things like that. But that's just a job. From this day forward, each of you is a sovereign in your land. Each of you are allowed and expected to decide for yourself what is right for you. This is the great truth I learned and this is the great freedom I give all because as of this day I give it to myself. The people were hushed as the comprehension began to settle into the bones. <laughs> and so, we say we are uh, giving much information to the channel and she is going boop, 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 but how are we going to make this happen and that happen and we do the numbers and la 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 and that's very good. We're very proud of her because she's come far and her brain is working better. <laughs> but, matters most is how you feel. Now, some don't like what is presented and that is fine. And then the others go, you know, oh, yes. I feel respected. I feel honored and I feel more complete in my knowledge and it doesn't hurt and it feels safe. These are the people who you get your information from, we hope. Understanding that you are sovereign in your land. Understanding that you and you alone can decide what is right for you. So, this is one of those days when we are able to give much. And so we set the energy and we let it run and those who come come and those who do not come that is fine that is fine 
we work with them in the dreams and we work with them with the other teachers around and it's very very good you can't do this wrong have we not been repeating that you cannot do this wrong no it's not possible use discernment don't it doesn't matter stumble and fall or be as graceful as a horse it doesn't matter seek go everywhere in the land or stay home it doesn't matter and understand every great truth that's ever been understood under every sun or ignore it all it doesn't What matters is your heart, your truth, and your reality. And if you can find people who help it and who make it grow and make it glow, well then, well done. Then you have found some family that you put into the system to help you. Maybe for a while and maybe for not, but you found a family. Well, that's good. Good for you. You're not alone on this journey course not. Not only, uh, well, we will say that you are not alone on this journey. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. And you can't make a mistake. And you can't miss an appointment. If you are scheduled to have information come, it will come. Okay? You can't miss the boat. It's not possible. Yes, there are celestial triggers, and yes, there's this and that and the other, and there's some mechanics and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? We are not offering one thing. We're offering many tracks so that you can pick and choose what you need. It's a blended message, but this is a message of discernment, of respect, of sovereignty and of love and so this is the first of the track C this is a message of love given to you on this day when we go out into the world and say hello hello we love you so much and we are so glad that we are together we are so glad we're back together let us begin the work let us begin the work let us begin this work okay so yes we are putting now we are um, we are cooking with the gas it's okay all is well and so we understand this is a long channel and we understand the food may be cold but we have to say these things to you and of course to her and to the ones who show up and to the ones who decide not to <laughs> it's okay funny how things come up at the last minute ha huh? it's okay let it be who's the sovereign around here anyway huh it's not this one it's you you are your sovereign you are your king and you're surrounded by little boys and wise women and wise men just like you who adore you and just want to help you along the path a little bit if you ask so we call this one discernment yes there's lots of discernment in here but it's a little story because we like to tell stories with so much fun okay so we go now because we must eat and then uh, do the washing and the talking hmm? okay we love you bye bye oh and that smoke is a uh, incense we like the smell it helps us to talk faster okay bye bye